Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at using comic book covers as a way of analyzing poses using the toucan technique. So without further ado, let's get started. So I've got a few covers here that I've selected here. This first one is the Silver Surfer. Let's jump right into it. So if we're looking at this pose, I'm going to, first of all, note some of the landmarks. In this particular case, we see the surfer's left facing arm is, high, is up a little bit higher. So I'm going to denote that with the cylinder. The other arm is at level. So this is our approximation for our shoulders. And then we've got another cylinder here representing the pelvis. In this case, the pelvis is pointing forward. So that's what I'm going to denote here. Now, what's important here is to denote the distance between the shoulder blades and pelvis. You can expand that distance, you can contract it, and you can get a lot of really interesting variations of characters. Uh, but I'm trying to use a, you know, just a basic framework here um, you know, kind of eyeballing it really. So let's go ahead and establish the chest. You can think of them as two shields. Whatever makes it easier for you to understand anatomy. This is not a substitute for learning anatomy. This is just a way of having some tools that can get you by in a pinch. So we've got the surfer's torso. And I recommend this because these drawings that are from Comics Masters are fairly classic and they're just a, a great way to look at a simplified form and understand how to apply your techniques. Now you've got the shoulder blade. The shoulder blade, you can think of it as basically uh, a cap in the side view. If you look at it from a three quarter front view, it kind of looks something like that. And we're gonna have the upper arm then we're gonna have the lower arm. And then we'll have the hand. And I'll just go ahead and draw the palm. Draw a drumstick for the thumb. Again, I'm not focusing too much in details. So let's look at the other arm. So we've got another shoulder blade. These are tapered cylinders. This is tapering. It's going from the thickest value, which is where the upper arm intersects with the shoulders, and it starts to get progressively thinner. So here is the other arm, and we've got the ability to connect those two together. Now let's take a look at the leg. So let's just divide this into our uh, pelvis area here. We've got one drumstick. Notice that there's a slight tilt. And we've got another drumstick. And what's good about practicing this is if you're, especially if you're into comics and you're wanting to get better at this craft, um, studying from comic poses can be a good supplement to studying drawing from life. You should always draw from life, but you know, I would say that it's also important to, to sustain your interest. If you like comics and you're only drawing from life, it's, uh, you know, you might lose some of that steam and motivation. So um, the analogy that I like to use with that is if you really like to play the electric guitar and someone gives you an acoustic guitar and, and you know, asks you to practice with that, the intent might be good, but you might lose interest in it because if you want to play an electric guitar, you're not really doing that, right? So you should always find ways of incorporating the things that you enjoy. Um, let's draw the head. I'll just approximate the head here. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on that, but we can see he's got his neck and his feet are being concealed by that surfboard, right? So. That's the first example. Let's take a look at another example here too. So I'll hide this cover and let's take a look at another very popular cover 
This is Incredible Hulk 181, first appearance of Wolverine. Um, so let's take a look at Wolverine. First of all, let's look at his pose. He's got this curve going on here. Actually, you know what? It's kind of something like that. And then we'll draw his first can here. This one's more like in a side view. And then if we look at his pelvis, it's kind of coming up. He's got a foot that is foreshortened that's coming towards, or leg rather, that's coming towards us. Let's first of all deal with the, with the, the chest. I like to go ahead and denote the chest. Notice the head is kind of sunken in. We're not gonna worry about that just yet. We do have the shoulder blades. We do have the upper arm. And we've got a foreshortened arm here. And then we've got a fist. And I'll just outline it like this. Again, not worrying about details. Do not worry about details at this phase. Try to work on understanding the pose. All right, the other arm here, we're gonna have the other shoulder blade. And again, I'm not doing a, a you know a, you know a note for note copy of this cover. I'm just trying to capture the pose. So I understand that there is going to be some differences between what I'm drawing in terms of the way I'm interpreting what I'm seeing here compared to what the original artist has already created. So I'm not trying to create a note for note copy. I'm just analyzing the pose. So we got that, the head is somewhat tilted. I'll just quickly denote this head like so. And then for the legs, let's just use a different color so it's easier to see. We've got the kneecap here. And we've got another cylinder that's really foreshortened like so. We've got the foot and the other foot, it's somewhat hidden from view, but it's still there if you look at it. So we can see that's Wolverine's pose. Let's look at the Incredible Hulk. He's got a different, um, more bulky body, I guess. So I'll shrink that, pick a dark blue color. Let's look at his spine. Then let's look at, we're gonna make these cylinders much bigger. We're always gonna add some type of tilt just to give this much more movement. Uh, and then his pelvis, if we look at his pelvis here, it's almost like he's doing a, a twist. So we're gonna see really the side view of the pelvis. And uh, let's go ahead and draw the chest. And there is a notable bulk here. And then we've got the shoulder blade. We've got I'll just represent this with cylinders. We'll worry about the musculature later on. And then let's approximate this hand like so. We've got the fingers that are all kind of doing something like that. I'm not gonna draw that in, but you can definitely see that drumstick for that thumb, right? So we talked about that in previous videos, so definitely take a look. And then for the other shoulder blade, we see that it's kind of pointing down. We've got the upper arm, and then we've got the lower arm. I'll just represent this as a box. And we see the head is tilting up. 
again, this is the way I approach it. I'm not saying this is the way to approach it. This is just what I do. I think drawing is a very personal thing. It's, um, you know, the, the idea with any type of tutorial that you watch, you should just basically see what you can take from it. This is not saying that you should draw it in this style or what have you. It's just, just exposing you to different tools and techniques that you can use in your own work. And that's the spirit in which I'm doing my videos. I've got the heel here and it's a little bit clipped off. Let's just go ahead and include that for completion's sake. And we've got the other foot that's going back like so. And then of course, because I've kept these guys on separate layers, I can always move things around. All right, let's look at the final cover. And if you're enjoying this, please give this video a like. And if you are considering subscribing, I would greatly appreciate a, sub a subscribe. Definitely helps the channel out. All right, let's look at Thor. All right, so in this case, let's not focus on the arms because that's where we want to look. Let's look and see how those two cans are working for this pose. So we've got this can here. This one's tilted downward. And if you want to draw on the form, I got a lot of these covers from a site called coverbrowser.com. It's excellent with regards to finding covers for various comic books that have, you know, that have been published. Um, it's a great way just to go ahead and uh, practice. You can download the covers, you can bring them into a program like Photoshop or Procreate and go to town with it. Now this is, I believe, Kirby. So let's just go ahead and draw the upper legs. Notice that we always see a little bit, like this is the kneecap here, but this is something you'll see in a lot of comic books. This, it's kind of like shape, boom, 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 right? It's not just a straight leg. It's, there's this kind of uh, backwards S or Z shape that you'll see. I always thought that to be interesting. And then we've got the other foot here, or the other leg. I keep saying leg and foot. I, you know, it's just a thing that I have to get better about. So I apologize in advance if you're shouting at your screen, telling me that it's actually called a leg, not a foot. Yes, I hear you. All right, uh, shoulder blade. We definitely see a prominent shoulder blade. Let's just go ahead and denote that here. Actually, there's a little bit of an upper tilt, right? And then we've got arm, arm, and actually, it's actually turning like that. And the other arm is actually coming down. And okay, so let me show you another trick that I also like to do too. When you've got two arms that are basically holding an object, draw the hands first and work back. So that way you can ensure that they all connect up. And so we've got this hand here, it's kind of curled around. And then this, we have a thumb here. And then we've got the actual hammer. Is it me or has Thor's hammer gotten much bigger um, over the years? It seems like it's so much smaller in this, in this cover. Let me know in the comments what you think. All right, so we've got that. He's got some cut of an outfit. And then he's got, uh, there's his head. And you know, he's got his cape and all of that good stuff. So. This is a great way to practice. If you haven't thought about doing something like this, this is also a great way to, uh, you know, kick the art block situation. If you're not sure what to draw, 
look at a comic book cover, analyze it, use the toucan technique. I'm curious to know how you're employing some of the techniques that I'm showing. I'm on Instagram at Krishna Draws. You can always follow me there. Tag me. Use a hashtag Krishna Draws. And uh, if you're working through some of these examples, I'd love to see your work. If you tag it, I can find it. And as always, I hope you found value in this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.